Welcome back to G-Ball Vision, everyone. Thank you for stopping in today. We have an unboxing to get into coming in from QSP. Thank you to them for sending this in for us to take a look at. If you like knife and EDC content, you are in the right spot. I release daily videos and hit that thumbs up button. That helps push this video out there to more people and let us know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So I'm really excited about this one. This is a new QSP model called the Cali here. And we are looking at a aluminum handled with steel liners button lock. Now they do have several different variations of this knife with a bunch of different handle materials. I'll have what I can link down in the description of this video. But QSP just released a couple of new models in the budget realm, uh, and they they look really, really good. So companies are starting to put the heat on here at the end of the year. Look at that. That blade is beautiful. We have a stone wash there that runs into a satin. That looks really good. I didn't notice that in the pictures nicely centered up there and it they they put well the steel liners help with the button lock mechanism but that's going to give that a nice feel in hand and then we have this large finger choil here where we can choke up behind that blade as far as our blade steel we're going to be looking at 14c 28n which qsp has been using for a long long time and they do their 14c very well we are looking at thumb studs for the deployment and as far as the deployment goes i've been saying it all year and it holds true till now uh these companies just continue to get better and better at these plunge locks and you know we could put an asterisk there uh because some people or a lot of people, and you know, I'm I'm the same way, would rather just see a button compression lock at this point, right? Plunge locks are getting better and better, uh, but they're getting better at a time when there's just something that's better than that, no matter what they do, you know, that can be used, and that's the button compression lock. So although plunge locks are getting better and better, I think they'll eventually get phased out for the most part. I think plunge locks, I don't know if we'll ever see them fully go away, but I think a lot of companies are going to eventually go to that button compression lock. It's not necessarily the plunge lock that makes the knife fun. It's the button that makes the knife fun, right? That's the draw. It's the button for disengagement. And with a compression lock, you get an, an actual detent. You're not dealing with springs for your action, right? So it, you kind of get the best of both worlds. But with that being said, plunge locks are getting better and better. And this is a very good one. It's got nice, strong springs. And there's a good bit of resistance coming out of that handle. It really... They're starting to somehow give it a lot of resistance up front, and that is making it feel like it has a real detent in there. We do have a deep carry clip, and it's recessed, going to be steel, and then a nice touch here. We do have the option for left-hand carry, and they include a filler tab, which is going to keep the look of this knife so much cleaner than if that was gone. And then we have satin hardware to match with their little logo on the pivot there. Looks good. Pretty minimal hardware for the most part. We just got a handle screw here and then our filler tab screws there. And going to be the same deal on this side with our told pivot. So why don't we get a little spec check here. We're looking at three inches of cutting edge. Little about three three quarters strong on our total blade there and then about seven and a half overall and we'll put it up against the Civivi Elementum up here on the top and the QSP Penguin here on the bottom which is the older brother here of the Cali and the Cali is going to be a little bit more a little bit more substantial in the handle 
and in the blade than both of these. And up top here, we have the pair of three and the 80-20.5 here on the bottom. The pair of three is going to be just a little bit smaller in handle and blade. And the 80-20.5, it's going to be very close, just a little bit larger than the Cali. And one more just because I wanted to see. But the bug out is going to be almost identical as far as the length of this knife is concerned. But you actually have more grip uh, grip in the Cali because you have that full choil there. So you get quite a bit more uh, grip and comfort out of the Cali. And it's going to be a little bit thicker and more substantial than the bug out is. We'll see what this thing looks like in the pocket here using our issuing stitches hank it should be very easy in the pocket there and that's going to carry nice and deep it's going to look clean in the pocket and retention is very nice there on our issuing stitches hank and as far as weight is concerned i feel like this is going to be a little bit uh so we got, what, three and a quarter. I bet this is like three, six or so. Wow, three, nine. Okay, yeah, I was going to say it's a little bit more robust. So ratio people might not be the happiest about that. But I think the 3.9 ounces will be just fine. Let's go ahead and check that edge. And QSP does a fine job on their edges out of the box. Uh from their $20 stuff all the way up to their most expensive OEM projects, they uh, they come out of the box with a nice edge. QSP, they have some of the best, in my opinion, and I've been saying this for two years now, uh, they have some of the best OEM work in the entire game. You know, they're responsible for the Nimbles and a plethora of other companies' OEM projects that they have absolutely nailed. So how does this thing feel in hand? Well, in the standard grip, it's nice and comfortable. The choked up grip, I would say is even better because then I'm even more off that pocket clip there. And not that it's digging into my hand, but you're going to feel it. You know, does that mean it's going to hurt or that it's a hot spot? Not always and not necessarily, um, you know, just because you can feel it there. You're going to have to be doing some extended work to feel some of these pocket clips in hand. And I would say, you know, over the average person uh, is not going to be using the knife to the extent where, you know, just repetitively, unless it's like, you know, you've been saving up boxes for two weeks or something like that, and you're breaking them down, you know, one day, then I can see somebody, you know, using it to that extent. So you're going to want something comfortable. Uh, but in no way is that clip uncomfortable, at least in my hands. Like I always say, I wear an XL glove. So medium to XL hands will have the potential to fit on this knife very well. So as far as this version right here with the aluminum, that is going to be coming in at $74. And then they have a ton of different G10 models that are be, that are going to be a little bit cheaper and come in at $69. So a little bit of an upcharge for the aluminum, but not bad at all. $5 for the aluminum if you chose or choose to uh, pick that one up, which I love aluminum. Some people aren't a big fan of aluminum, so I think that's, you know, ultimately why they did both, which I think is a great idea. The more options for everyone, the better off on both sides. And the designer of this one is Kinu Alfaro, which I'm not familiar with uh, his designs or familiar with him, but uh, I I'm enjoying this one right here, especially at the cost of 74 bucks. That is not bad at all. I would say that's, you know, that's right on par with uh, what you're going to be getting on the market these days. So let's go ahead and we're going to check this lock and just make sure it's not going to nonchalantly close here. And we do have a nice stop pin in there. And yeah, okay. 
Okay. So, man, that action is very good on this knife. Yep. Reverse flick is money. There's no lashing in there. It wants to go from closed to open, which is impressive for a button lock. All right, let's check this lock. There's no movement in there, up or down, side to side. Feels pretty solid. You can hear the knife giving the, giving the blow. Yeah, good. And that's enough right there to know whether or not that lock's going to hold up under normal wear and tear, right? Not going and batoning this through a log or, you know, hammering it into a tree and using the knife to climb up the tree. Doing normal daily cutting tasks and even a little bit more than that, I think you'll be just fine. QSP is a very recommendable knife company if you're new to the knife world. Uh, QSP is a very recommendable company. They have been putting out some of the best budget knives in the knife industry for the last couple of years. Uh, very dependable and a, a very solid company all the way around. You'll have to let me know. What do you think of the new QSP Cali here? Let me know what you think of button locks, button compression locks, and what way do you think the knife industry is going to go here in the future? <clears throat> I think we're going to see button pivot locks and we're going to see button compression locks. And I think eventually the plunge lock is going to all but be kind of annihilated. There, there will be the stragglers that we see plunge locks from, of course, I think. And I think they're going to be very good. But like I said, those pivot locks and those compression locks, they're just way stronger and they give so much more satisfaction when it comes to the opening and closing of the knife as well. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that. Everyone, if you're new here, I release daily knife and EDC content. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. That'll notify you anytime I release new content, even when I go live which every Monday and Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, I do live streams, and everyone is welcome to stop by. I'd love to have you there. I will put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of those out for me. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.